Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is for the Pisces sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message that it's meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Pisces, okay? This is an exclusive love message for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Pisces, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. So this is a love message. This is an all about love energy reading. Let's see what's coming. Ooh, tower card. The, ju the judgment card. Okay. Let's get your overall energy, Pisces. What can I get for Pisces, please? What's the message for Pisces, please? Moving on. I feel like Pisces, your energy, it is moving on and diverting your attention into something more productive. There is an acceptance with a six of swords in here. Um, I feel like you have... Like you, you're very worn out or um, I feel very tired looking at the Six of Swords and, you know, the guy who's rowing the boat. So I think you come to a point where you're tired and you just really want to move on from this romantic situation or romantic interest that, you know, you've tried, you know, you tried everything, but it seems to be it's not working. So you're kind of moving on or not prioritizing love at the moment for some of you. Like you want to take a break, your thoughts, you want to take a break. Like you want your mind, maybe you're traveling, but you want to get your mind out of the person or the romantic situation. Now, so that's the overall energy for you. Let's pick up more intuitive message for Pisces. Um, Let's look at the situation in the past, the present, and the immediate future. And depending depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. So coming in the past is you've got the Nine of Wands. So recent past, you're tired, Nine of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands, this is an energy of a wounded warrior. So he has been into a battle, you know. Um, so if you look at the Knight of Wands, he has bandages and he's using the wand to stand up. So I feel like you've, you've just gotten into, you know, like you've, you've gotten to a point where, um, fair enough, you know, I need to recuperate. I need to regenerate. I need to just, you know, get into, get into that healing Nine of Wands justice card. It would be fair for you to let go or to detach your mind and your... Because wands represent passion and action. So you are taking your mind and probably removing or cutting any sort of connection or action that you've put towards the person or the situation. You have finally realized that it's time for you to kind of stop. You know, and not you, you started by no action and then you're going towards King of Cups emotion. So you are going to love yourself. I'm picking up with the King of Cups. You are going to be masculine. You know, you are preparing yourself to be tough, uh, to love when it's needed and to make your emotions mentally, emotionally and wands, that's your action, all of this aligned together into Nine of Pentacles to, fo to focus on you. Nine of Pentacles, this is a single lady. She's a single lady. She has everything that she needs. But with these three energies in here, I feel like you're forgetting how powerful you are. Yeah. With the Nine of Wands. You're forgetting... Pisces that you're so powerful you're so feminine I mean the softness and the warmth and the love that you have 
and how you radiate this love within you towards the world, you're forgetting that it's a power, you know. So so you're kind of switching off from that warm into a bit masculine with a king of cups, nine of pentacles. You're taking your power back. You're taking your power back. Sorry, you're taking your power back in here, Pisces. It might have taken a bit long, but you're taking it back with the nine of pentacles in here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles and the Lover's card. Yeah. I feel like in the past, you fell in love with someone. This is like a strong love. For some of you, I'm hearing the word. There was a love affair. It was a third party in here. You fell in love with a person. You fell in love with a situation. This romantic situation. It was the kind of love that you want. However, it didn't, it didn't I'd say, fall into... Maybe it is still survive because I feel like it's still here, but you're kind of nine of pentacles. You're kind of detaching. You're like, I'm going to leave you romantic energy. I'm going to put you in the closet. When I'm ready, I'm going to open the closet and take you. You've got a king and a queen. So right now, we've got ace of swords in here. There's a reconciliation coming your way. And you know that this is happening. You know that if you put a full stop into romance, into romantic, or to this, into this situation, it will circulate back to you. And you're right. So right now, Queen of Cups, um, you want to fall in love. You want love and all of its glory, love and its glory. But you want it solo. You know, you want exclusive love. And you want something that would really unconditional. You're very strict. You're holding back. I really pick up that you're holding back right now, Pisces. Or at least you're trying to hold back. You're trying not to give in to the situation. Yeah. Hangman. You are not giving anymore unless you're going to receive that 100% affection. That 100% attention. You get a temperance card. Wow. You believe with, you know, you believe with the right timing, the right tempo, you believe that if the you know if the person is right, if the opportunity is right, why not? But right now you're kind of restricted. I feel like you've been burnt out, you know, in terms of love, in terms of getting to know, in terms of relationship. I felt like there's a part of you that's burnt out. Um, that's why you've got the nine of pentacles, and it's all about you. Like this, this reading is transitioning to be all about you. You still believe in love, but with the right love. The right groovy kind of love. There's a reconciliation coming your way. I'm still picking up the, the past is coming your way. The past will return. Star card. Yeah. So you've got a person. There is a past returning to you. They have healed. They're ready. They're wishing that you would accept them. Hidden energy is you've got the world card. I feel like you and your person, you have completed the cycle. Because you're very available, but not with this person. I feel like this person would be able to persuade you. Two of Cups. Um, Pisces. There's, there's something really nice about your energy. Like you're ready to connect very soon. The thing is, it might happen so fast. Yeah, look at that five of swords. So, the person would like to reconcile with you, reconnect with you. They're coming solid. But the way you transition from, you know, getting your power back, connecting with them again, it might be too quick that you might overlook or you might be blindsided. There are some tower card. There's some pain or hurt or misunderstanding that you and this person um you haven't cleared it out so if you're going to reconcile or be with this person make sure that you set the record straight make sure that everything is clear before you go to a two of cups because i'm seeing a red flag with a five of swords yeah you know you've got a judgment card i feel like if once you connect things will fall into places right away two of cups there might be a little bit of challenge right after the Two of Cups because it's like a honeymoon stage. And then there's going to be a little bit of this challenge. But you would you would be able to get an outcome still. Depending on how you have learned in here 
and how you're going to take it. I really believe that you've changed, they've changed. If there is another challenge again, you will be able to deal with it. But make sure with the red flag that there are no hidden feelings, emotions, or disappointment that I'd say would come out. Because you, you might reconcile, reconnect, and then once you guys fight or have a misunderstanding, it will trigger you to open up old wounds. That's what I'm getting in here. So make sure that those wounds are dealt with before you fall into the Two of Cups. That's the red flag. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. This is your love reading. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.